Hey, how y'all doing out there? This episode of Chris Garage, I'm finally breaking into the Maverick. Now, this is going to be a slew of videos about this car because I'm rebuilding it to the to the design that's in my head. I got a lot of aftermarket parts, a, a big list of stuff to do, a lot of stuff to do. So, but right now what I'm going to end up doing is jacking this car up and starting to bolting that rear end so we can swap that 88 under it. Hopefully I welded the saddles on right because they did look a little crooked from the when I got them. So, see if maybe I got it to work. So, let's hope on that. I'll pull this rear end out. It's for sale. Anybody that wants it, give me a little bit of money. It's yours. So, I got some brakes for um, a Mustang that will go on the 8A. It's got to trim up the bracket that the brakes bolt up to. And they'll hook on there and then get axles for it and get a rebuilt kit for the front seal of the where the uh, shaft goes into the third member. That's leaking and possibly changing my bearings and we're going to be fine. So, neither to say, let's start jacking this car up and at least get the first part of this humongous build done.
Such a blessing. It sets on the springs. Perfect. Okay, guys. Get you down here a little bit. I'm sorry. It's, it's getting dark, so I don't got good lighting. But I can explain to y'all everything. Here's the rear end. Here's my leaf spring. Here's my saddle. Okay. They're lining up just perfect on both sides. They're square on the, on the leaf springs. So that is terrific. Because this is the very first rear end I've ever cut and narrowed. Okay. Originally this rear end came out of a F-150, an 89 model. And so it was just way too wide. So what I did was I measured that rear end that was still in the car. And also went off of forums online and asked people on the Maverick forum and the people that did help me. I want to say thank you very much. And um, used it and marked this rear end. Now this, like I said, it's an 8.8 .8 limited slip, 373 gearing. And the biggest key for this thing, why I went and got this rear end and not explore, because this was free. The cutting and not in cutting and narrowing was free. The only thing that has cost me so far is just the saddles. 13 or 14 dollars from Summit Racing and that's all I got in this rear end right now. So I cannot be more grateful than that and I now the only thing I do is just go buy axles. So but the deal is the rear end is in there. So next step is to get the axles and then once the axles are in, get the front seal rebuilt on it because that leaks. Um, I'm going to put new leaf springs in here because these are the original leaf springs. And, well, almost everything in here is original except for the uh, shocks. So, they need to come out and new ones need to go in there. So, awesome. Today has been an accomplishment, a 100% accomplishment. Okay guys, that's going to be it for today. I got the rear end in. It matches up to where the original one was, so awesome. Um, very happy with that. So, next it's either get new leaf springs or get new axles for it. So, or get the new seal kit. I don't know which one's which, but the rear end's going to come back out. So I can clean up all the grease that's off back there. Um, and once the grease is out, sandblast it, and then if there's any rust back there, I can fix the rust by cutting it out and putting new panels in. Um, and once I start there, I'm going to continue going up to right where the engine bay is, um, where the transmission tunnel is. So therefore, I can have that whole undercarriage undercoated, and I'll have new floor pans, etc. It all be nice and new under there. Um, then I'll have new uh, brake lines, new um, fuel lines, everything. So uh, I got a company that I'm I found that's going to make me custom axles for it. Pretty reasonable. I think they're like 110 to 120 bucks per axle. So awesome. I'll get those on the way here soon. Uh, a, re a seal kit. I just got to go down to the parts store get it. Uh, if anybody is out there, if any companies are watching this, or if you know anybody that wants to help me out with anything, oh, that would be so wonderful. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to use for the undercoating. I want to know something that's really good and durable um, that won't chip if any rocks hit it or anything like that. Um, same as for the, the wiring harness. Um, even I don't know which harness to go with. Or anything like that. So, I got. I'm like I said. I'm going to be rebuilding this car completely. I'll be painting it, doing a full-on resto mod rebuilt for it. This thing. So, y'all just wait and see how this car ends up, and y'all are going to love it. So, uh, just a little bit on this rear end. Everything was easy. Nothing gave me any troubles except for just the bolts. They're holding the rear end. On with the U-bolts those were kind of a pain because those were put on from the factory and they're just kind of difficult to get off nothing rounded out nothing cross thread or anything like that 
And those were, uh, I think... I think those are 20 or 21s. Not 100% sure, but your, your shock is going to be at 15. Your brake line is going to be 11. And my... Uh, parking cables, I just cut them because I'm going to put new cables under there. So, that might be the hardest thing to get out. I don't know. I don't have the right tool to get it out, obviously. So, I just took a cutoff wheel, chopped it off. Each step and done. So, it only took me, what, maybe an hour and a half to get that rear end out. Just because I had to take a break because those bolts just get hard to turn. So, I don't think I got anything else. So, alright, I'm gonna get off here and go take a bath because I'm dirty. So, later.